what would I like to call my settlement? Oh, uh, okay, give me all your beaver names right now. We've already had Beaverly Hills, and we've had... Loss... Logs? Logs... Something? Logs Beavis? As in Las, Ve La Las Vegas. What else could we do? Somebody had a really good name. Timberton Abbey. <laughs> Somebody had a very, very good name last time, and I can't remember what it was. Damn Mark. I like that. We're gonna do Damn Mark. Hi, Waleski. How are you today? I like that. Damn Mark. Damn Mark wins. Okay. So this is a different map. You'll notice it's smaller. It's a lot smaller. So the... Looks like the water comes from this direction. Yeah, I mean, it flows downhill. That makes sense. Um, this one was 156. Who's paying attention? This is your quiz. Was this 156 by 156? I think so. Well, the one that we played on last time was 256 by 256. Hello, Lex. Nice to see you. Hi, Vin. A little streamer named Jess, and chatters named Chat. <laughs> Good day to you all. Hello, viewer named Vin. Hope you're doing well today. 128 by 128. Ah, Somebody was paying attention. Thank you. 128 by 128. That makes sense. It's half the size. It's like... Hold on. A bite? 128 is a bite? Megabyte. 128 megabytes. I don't know. And then you double it to 256. I don't know. 8 bits is a bite. 4 bytes is a nibble. <laughs> Wait, so how many bytes is a bit? Sorry, how many... Bytes is a megabit. Fight. <laughs> it's a power of two. You know, I, I actually, like, had a class on this. <laughs> like, back in the day. You can see how much I remembered. Okay, so the waterfalls map is really cool. It just is a series of waterfalls. Like, here's one, here's another, here's another, here's another. And then it flows down, there's another. And off the map. We have a nice big green area. Right here in the center. This is kind of convenient. We also have this tall area back here. We live down in the valley. Over here we've got our ruins. And I saw one spot for a mine. There's more ruins. There was a mine... Oh, there's more ruins here, and then there's a mine right there. Eight bites is a chomp. 32 bites is a mouthful. If you can fit 32 bites into your mouth, I'm very impressed. <laughs> can you imagine trying to chew 32 bites of pizza all at once? Hi, Mr. Puppy! 256 is the max value of an 8-bit system. They had to invent another term for 1224 and so on. Looks like this is supposed to be a little river here. Oh my goodness. I see what I'm supposed to do. You see how this is closed off right here? If we just took some dynamite, and blew this up, we could make a whole other river. Which would probably make most of this area green. And it looks like we can do that over here as well. There was 
a math problem that you solved really fast and surprised people. You realized it was faster to do it in binary than decimal. How do you solve a math problem in binary? <laughs> okay, you lost me. You lost me, chat. That's okay. Looks like we can do the same thing over here, too. We can fill this up with water. And probably this, too. Oh, hey, look, it's sneaky mine. So you probably don't want to fill the mine with water. Just saying. But I'm, I'm already laying down the plans mentally for what we're going to do. We just blow this up right here. We can make a river. But first, we need explosives. We can probably clear this fairly easily. We have a lot of dead trees back here we can chop down. I officially don't know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> Okay, yes, we need to make a lumberjack flag. And we need a path, so let's... Woo, Sean this way. I'm going to set two lumberjack flags. Two of them. And I will continue to never be able to find what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I guess we're gonna need a log storage pile. Should I put it in the middle of town? Maybe I should... Yeah, let's just put it there. Linux. Linux says what? Terabytes. Linux uses terabytes. Alright, we will assign four beavers to work in... The district center. What should we call this? Are you the only one who read that as kitty bites? I don't know, but I like the phrase kitty bites now. And that's the name of district one. Kitty bites. And all these beavers wonder, what's a kitty? What is a kitty? Nothing to do in range. You were correct. Oop. Because in, in this world, I think beavers are all that remain. Alright, so I learned the hard way last time. We want all the science. We don't have enough science points. Yeah, I was trying to hit the inventor. So I'm going to build two. They only require logs. Houses, what do houses require? Logs. What are these beavers doing? Okay, they're not doing anything. I have... one unemployed beaver. I have six employed. Yep, that, that checks out. Ah, yes. Water. Imagine that. There should be a shortcut here. Like to click on this bush. And then delete it. And cue it for... Wait, I should write this down. <laughs> When I have feedback, write it down. Alright. So, what did I say? Click... ...on plant... ...pull... ...up... ...construction? Construction keys? Dun, 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 
Dum, 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 whoa. <laughs> Demolish. Elite buildings, mark resources. There we go. Bye, Imes. You snuck past me. You should call your water company and be like, what up with this boil advisory? What, what is happening with a boil advisory? Is loot hello? What do French Canadian beavers call their loving log pile? Madame. <laughs> oh goodness. It takes 12 logs to make this, and I don't pretend to understand why. We had a boil advisory last week. What is a boil advisory? Never heard this before. We we're supposed to be under an advisory for the 24th, which ended on Friday. But they also said they'd notify you when it's lifted. They have not notified you. Oh, you have to boil any water to drink it. Oh. And something goes wrong with the water system. Okay. All right. I understand. Maybe I should put down two more lumberjack flags. For the time being. You will post bad cat. <laughs> you can come to enjoy the work lurk. <laughs> it's waiting for tests to clear. I have heard some horror stories about um contaminated water, like contaminated city water, and the problems it has caused. You didn't put a Lido in your reservoir because you figured they shouldn't be swimming in their drinking water. Probably not. Maybe not. I have a total of six science points, everybody. As of right now, I have 106 berries, but we have zero water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I can't actually afford to have two lumberjack posts. Because somebody's gotta work the water pump. I have three unemployed beavers. Let's put them here. So they will help with... making the water thingy. It just takes... 12 logs, no problem. What if they all died of thirst? <laughs> but you're probably right, you, you don't want baby beavers swimming in your water source, right? <laughs> don't do that. No sleep, only work. They're sleeping. <laughs> oh, bag cat, that's what I was gonna look at. Aw, bag cat. Cute. Mixy Vampire, Timber and Stone. 
Just timber. Just timber. Ha! How are you doing today? So I need to assign somebody here. To make water. Everybody needs some water. There we go. Look at that. Look at those big hunter crazy eyes that say, give me the fingers. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks. One of my baby beavers grew up. I believe this thing requires 15 logs. Pretty crazy. Ooh. Okay, we have water storage now. Rejoice! We have water storage. Maybe I should put the water storage closer. Boop. Are we booping? Hi, Alistair! Everybody's always booping, I don't know. <laughs> I think I should have put the water storage closer. I believe that would have made sense. Beep if you boop. Beep boop. Dum 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 dum. Okay, wait. Somebody else grew up? That was quick. That was very quick, so I'm going to put a gatherer's flag here. And then. Boop. Boop. Do they just automatically gather? I think they will automatically gather. Your cat boops the inside of your elbow, hides. Her eyes from the world while you snug. Oh, You don't always boop that slander. I mean, whatever streamer says goes. So, just saying. <laughs> just saying. A man wanted to become a logger, but the timber of his timber was unpleasant to his supervisor, Oop. Tim Burr. <laughs> Oop. Oop. Okay, now we have 60 science points. I think the first thing we're... Okay, we already have a lumber mill. Oop. We're probably gonna want some houses. Just a thought. Where should I build said houses? Maybe right here? It is very expensive to get... ...the non-basic lodge. So maybe I'll just build them over here for the time being? And once I get the other ones unlocked, I'll build them over here. Did you boop Omarid? You tried the hype train, didn't get far, so boop train it is. The hype train. Chugga chugga. Yep, that came and went. Okay, so now we have some houses for my beavers. I have 11 beavers, so this gives us three beavers. So we have room for one extra. Oh yes, a small warehouse. That would be good too. 
You know, I could build that on top of my houses. But I'm not going to. I'm going to put it in the middle of town. Not there. Yep, let's put it right there in the middle of town. And let's see what else we've got. And I didn't even try aquatic farming on the last map, I just realized. You can also build a farmhouse, but I think I need stairs first. Let's um, get some stairs. Wouldn't it's 70 science points and a platform? Okay, wait, we need planks. Gosh. I move no worst. Yes, this is a new town. Um, we are now playing the experimental branch with update 2's content. Update 2 ha is not officially out. Except on experimental, so we're, we're just checking it out. Speaking of, where is all the new content? Oh, here it is. I found it. It's under science. A biofuel refinery, a biofuel tank, a golem part factory, and a golem factory. And a disposal facility. So all of these things require power. Except the biofuel tank. But we have to generate biofuel, I think, to make golems and then we have to put the golems together and then we have to be able to dispose of them so these are these are units that you build that don't require resources to stay alive so they just they don't sleep and they don't eat the folktail um, faction. The folktale faction needs to be able to dispose of them because they're, they're barrel bots, or what they're called. They do not last forever. At some point, they do need to be decommissioned, otherwise they blow up. And it's really bad if they blow up, according to the patch notes. The uh, Iron Teeth, on the other hand, as long as you maintain their golems, they last indefinitely. Vin, enjoy the lurk, work, work, work. <laughs> the work, 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 lurk. They also consume biofuel. Yeah, so we need a lot of stuff. Kind of like humans. Kind of. I guess. The farmhouse can really be anywhere, can't it? How much does it cost to make stairs? I still need planks, dang it. Ugh. I have to build everything on the ground. Let's definitely get... Oh, gatherer flag. Never mind. I guess I'll put it there. And then I need to place down fields, so that's going to be under plant crops. Right now, all I have access to is the grill. And we can only make potatoes. Um, I don't really know where to put them. I guess I'll put them like this? We can also eat carrots, so I'll put some carrots down. So kind of the humans. So kind. Yes, really, we're just building humans. We're building humans, of course.
We need to think about making a dam. I don't have the... I just realized there's a show water button. I don't know what it does. Yeah, the farmhouse was just logs. The dam is pretty expensive. It's 20 logs a piece, and look how... Look how wide across that is. But we're just gonna have to go for it. Yay! Look at them go! Yay! We also need... A lumber mill, which has to be powered. Why don't we put it down here? I'm trying to figure out how I would make it so we could use the dam and a water wheel. I don't know that I can do both. I have the water wheel unlocked and I do not have a levee, but we could get it. We can afford it. I guess what we should do is, yes, build that right here. But first, I'm going to use the... Trance blocked. Can I just connect it? Is this connected? Is that connected? Just like that? Nice! I think we're doing pretty okay. If I do say so myself. Next, we're gonna need a forester. That's what we should get first, but it requires planks. Dang it. <laughs> okay, maybe we should have two lumber mills. Just a thought. <laughs> Are we putting Alistair in the wheel? He does seem like he has a lot of energy. We tend to build way too many reservoirs just in case. I mean, it's better to be prepared than to be unprepared. You know what they say. Better safe than sorry. I'm trying to imagine how a beaver would sound. They have these little voices. You ran around all day, you're pretty exhausted. So, if we put you in the hamster wheel, the beaver wheel, you are going to just pass out while doing it. Building lacks power, building lacks workers. Yes. I'm sure it does. to the situation, I'm just going to build our starter home for the beavers like that. I don't have platforms, so stairs will do. Hey, Mr. Froll again. What if our safety makes us sorry? Or I'm better safe than sorry. It costs 40 logs to make this thing? What? That's crazy. You'd argue the beaver wheel has the perfect geometry for a nap time in the shadows. <laughs> also, I don't know. Like, maybe it would like kind of like rock you to sleep a little bit. <laughs> it's like being in a hammock. That is the perfect way to lull myself to sleep. 
A wooden hammock. Of course the stairs need planks. I knew that. I knew that. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Fine. I'll put them on the ground. See what you've driven me to? Actually, it's like, like um, can I take a worker out of here? Will they pull the logs out of this if it's paused? I'm super curious to know. I want to move the lumberjack flag. But it currently has 20 logs in storage? 19. 19 logs in storage. But I don't want to delete them. Jenga style houses. You can kind of build Jenga style houses. The only difference is you're you're not. Why did I just put potatoes there? Dang it! I wanted carrots. I'm not trying to remove them after we've built them. I don't know if they do. Currently, they're pulling logs from here, though, so it's hard to tell. Hi, smoking kitten hippie! Being rocked like a wagon wheel. I don't... I've never known what that means. Like, to be rocked like a wagon wheel, but maybe. I have to joke about it, because there are people that go hard on that view. Wait. Oh. You actually... There are people you know... There are people that believe getting thrown from the car is safer than wearing a seatbelt. I actually do... <clears throat> excuse me, did. I don't know if their opinion has changed. Did know somebody like that. Because... Their sibling... Got killed by a seatbelt. Isn't connected with a path. True. You're, you are right. It's, it's kind of dark, but their, their sibling... Um, got into a car accident and the seatbelt, like just the way the, the accident went down... It caused complications? And so, of course, this led to a group of people who believed it was safer to not wear a seatbelt. Okay, they do pull from it if it's paused. Right, exactly. Exactly. It can happen, but it's much more rare than actually using the safety precaution. Yeah, hey, Dudakos. They can be dangerous if you wear them wrong. Yep. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Nello. Hello. Dad was thrown from a vehicle when he was a kid. I'm trying... I'm trying to think. They were... When that happened, there probably were seatbelts, right? But it was just the lap belt. My aunt had a, a really old... antique car and it only had a lap belt. The lack of seatbelt means you become a 50 kilogram plus ballistic meat sack. Well... I mean, the, the real... Well, I guess it's not the real way to think about it, but the way that I envision it... is... Like, if you're, you're in a car and you're moving, like, you have the same, was it inertia? As the moving vehicle. So if the car is going 50 miles per hour, you, the person, are also going 50 miles per hour. So if the vehicle comes to a stop, you still maintain that momentum. 
And so you you will be launched at that speed. So, like, it's pretty scary to think about. In almost every motorsport, seatbelts are required. Oh, Jesus, sir, puppy, that's scary. I'm glad your dad survived. Oh, Lex. <laughs> oh. Do we have any planks yet? Need... I think that I have no beaver to operate this yet. Why don't we take a beaver out of the inventor? So they can go get some exercise on the power wheel. I have been in a bus where it stopped suddenly. Yeah, a school bus. We did not have belts. There were no seat belts on the school bus. Which I always thought was kind of strange. <laughs> And there were a number of times where I just got launched into the seat in front of me. Luckily, it was padded. So it was just like getting a face full of padded seat, but... Ill. You had a final desti destination moment in high school, did you? Your theory is because buses are so heavy, they don't stop fast enough for people being launched to be a problem. All right, my beavers are hungry. I got I got very into this conversation, <laughs> and I'm starving my beavers. We'll have carrots in like a day, but as of right now, we have nothing to eat. Can't, is will they die? Oh, they'll die if they hit right there. That's pretty close. Can I make some. I can't make stairs. Oh, but I can make a path right here. I think my gatherer should be able to go get those now. Where are you? Oh, the flag doesn't reach that far up. I've got it, I got it. I was looking at, I think... The town center? They're eating carrots right meow. I hope my beavers don't die. Okay. So your final destination moment. You got out of your buddy's truck at the store and they got T-boned 30 seconds later, smashing the spot you were in. Whoa. That is like a final destination moment. Hi, Birth Reyes! Hello! Where did my beaver go that was working this flag? Because I currently have no un unemployed beavers, so where did they go? Um, that's a good question. Oh, you went to the farmhouse. Right, that's probably good. Why don't we move somebody from there? Let's stop this morbid tangent. Look, the beaver is showing. <laughs> oh, the morbid tangent. Moon <laughs> horse Nick is much for two months. I kind, I, I sort of stopped the morbid tangent. Okay, I sort of stopped. My carrots are done. Right now. 
To answer your question, Sparker Master. We're doing pizza today? Pizza Monday? Thank you so much for two months and welcome back. I really appreciate the support. Oh my god, I love steak. Hello. Hello, hello. George, nice to see you. Welcome in. Did I say hi, Berthreus? <laughs> Did I say hi? Hello, hello. Yes, you did manage to derail whatever conversation we were having to stir puppy. You... You did the thing. Oh, the best pizza place isn't open till 4 p.m. Whoa. <laughs> you don't mean to. I think I think it's because of the way some of these things are phrased. I think it, I think it's that. Like it, it's not so easy to just be like yes or no. It leads to more open-ended conversation. I think I think that's what's happening. They move faster on paths, right? Indian pizza is a thing where you are, curry flavors and whatnot. I have had tandoori chicken pizza before. It's very tasty. Super good. Oh. Did say hi. That's good. What are you all doing? Work all the time. You are currently dying of starvation. Please go harvest carrots. <laughs> Back to work. No sleep for you. Oh, no, we definitely want to prioritize harvesting right now. One of the best pizza places only open 11 p.m. on Friday and weekends. Okay, I haven't seen any alerts about beavers... Dying yet. Yeah? I mean, we're still on cycle one. Nobody's died of starvation. Yet. Starving, literally food in the ground, but I'm tired. <laughs> Now they have a 24, 22 hour work day. You went to a party on Saturday and you were there for eight hours. Your throat was very sore when you left due to all your talking. I have the, I have the opposite problem. Okay, like, I, just, I don't know how to, to do the thing and, like, talk to people. That, yeah, JSOG exactly gets to the party, migrates to the back where the dogs are, leave without telling anyone. <laughs> That's me. I usually... So, usually I'll socialize for, like, five minutes, and I use socialize in air quotes because I don't know how to have small talk. I'm working on it. And then I very quickly become exhausted. This one tree escaped my cutting zone. I was wondering why it wasn't chopped down. How many planks do I have? Fifteen. I bet you I can make a forester now. The Forester required 60 science points and 7 logs to build. I'm going to put it... I don't know. Maybe right here. Make sure we have a door. 
And since I know that this section is not only accessible, but stays green when the river is flowing, then that's probably the ideal spot for our trees. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> hey, Fentel. Yes, we're playing waterfalls. I noticed that we can remove the debris. I probably should do that. You're right. You're right, Fentel. Okay, I'm actually going to wait until that's done so I know where to put my forester. This is your favorite map. Yes, I almost played mountains today and then I was like, no, 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 no. I was told to play waterfalls. Very insistently, so that's what we're doing. You thought you were introverted. Turns out undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> <sighs> you find it funny and interesting that I'm good at going on tangents and starting interesting conversations on stream, yet I find it difficult to do the same thing IRL. I really do. I really do find it, like, incredibly difficult. Of course, I made a path right through a section. I think it's because when people can actually see me, I feel, like, very, um... ...judged? Or, like, I think it's because eye contact makes me really uncomfortable. Okay, they should be able to reach that now. I have, I have a weird time with eye contact. Reading typing is different than talking listening. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Having other people in chat to riff off of. Yeah, no, it is... That, that part is very helpful. Ah, there they go. Woo, there we go. Yeah, that does increase it quite a bit, you're right. Like, quite a lot of it. <laughs> So I will put my forester right there. I'm gonna fill this whole section up with trees. Like first up, chestnut trees. Which I think should be able to grow all through here. Oops. I think. Hi Raxel! Hello! You almost never make eye contact. Yeah, I... I have a hard time with it. I don't know why. Okay, I'm deleting the slumberjack flag. Oh, but there was stuff in it. Ugh, that's fine. Followed by more chestnut trees. Followed by maple trees. Yes, as far as the, the undiagnosed ADHD, I... I... I do... wonder, like... Because I used to be so much more... Open? I guess? To... Other people? I'm gonna move the road again. When I, when I was younger, so like, I'm wondering if, like, it was just something that was learned on my end. Like, because of undiagnosed ADHD. Done. Alright. So, that's my... Okay, I can actually see where I can't grow trees. Which I appreciate. Um, how do I do the clear... Here we go. But I can't see it like this. I can kind of see it. They have little shadows.
Will that grow? It might grow. I'm gonna science it. I will science it! I do have time to think. Yeah, I don't have to necessarily be on the spot. If I get overwhelmed, I just go like this. Be right back. I can't do this IRL. I mean, I, I can, but it's weird. <laughs> just, um, let me, uh... Let me go and consider what you've just said over there in the other room, and I will be back in approximately 30 seconds with a response. <laughs> Let me just go digest that over there. Yes, video calls are hard too. Whoops, I'm tabbed out, my bad. <laughs> that one was an accident. Video calls are really, really hard for me as well. I don't know why. You don't care what people think generally because the average person is seeing a facade usually anyway. Hmm. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just the eye contact thing. Also, that's not, that's not true. Like, when I have a... That's not fully true. When I have a conversation with somebody... I guess I'll put this all the way to the end. Like, even if I'm in a voice call, I have a hard time with it. Because... It kind of takes me a little while to process what somebody said. And... I don't know if this makes any sense. But I just, I have a hard time, like, responding to people, like, as they talk to me. Sometimes, I just need to process something that's been said for, like, a minute. The trees would grow there? Good to know. Enjoy the lurk, Nello! And hi, Diamond Destruct! The soundtrack is happy. But they are happy beavers. They're hungry again. And they, I don't think they can eat raw potatoes, huh? Doop, 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 doop. I guess let's build this. Let me catch up with chat. I'm very behind. The funny story. One day you were playing with your niece who had new wool gloves and was playing with them close to your face and at some point she puts her finger on your eye with it. So obviously it hurts and you scold her and then she goes, Jez feels, but I was careful not to hurt him, I put gloves on. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> oh goodness. Still waiting on the full body holographic projector from for IRL events. Wouldn't that be something? If you order potato wedges and chicken, does anyone want it? You hate to order for just one person. Yeah, I'll take some. Sure. Oh, no, Alistair, I do this all the time. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to learn how to have small talk with my neighbors. Since I, like live here now and I'm not a, a renter when I was when I was renting there was no point in getting to I mean I guess there there's no point in getting to know your neighbors right <laughs> maybe some people would not agree with me but hold on I had a thought I want to put more potatoes right here Potatoes, please. Yeah, I'm gonna make another farm. Oh, I will make another. But right now, we still need to harvest. So, like, I will try 
to talk to my neighbors? I'll try. And usually I just, I don't know what to say. And afterwards, like, I'll, I'll usually reflect on the conversation and how awkward it made me feel and then be like, oh, that would have been the perfect time to be like, oh, by the way, I'm your neighbor. Or something, you know, like any useful thing <laughs> just doesn't cross my mind. I'm too busy feeling like, very awkward. And like unsure of what to say. And made uncomfortable by eye contact. The important part is the relationship with your neighbor is not bad. Yeah, I... I don't know, and... <laughs> I don't know... I'm gonna put another forester down. No, I mean a farmhouse down. There is one teeny tiny bush in the way. There's nobody to work here. No recipes selected. Um, grilled potatoes, please. Yay! We have potatoes! Potatoes. Potatoes. Not potatoes. All right, I'm going to reduce their work day again. <laughs> potato, but patata. Hi, Nicholas. Nice to see you. This looks like Banished. Now, I've never played Banished, but I don't I don't know that they're that similar. I feel like I need to try Banished. Just so I can have this conversation with people. <laughs> well, time to go. Have fun beavering around. Wait, beavering is a word? I'd be very surprised. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Disturb puppy. Have a good one. Thanks so much for being here today and starting a random tangent. And then rudely leaving afterwards. I'm just kidding. I can't be mean to chat. I really hope you have a wonderful rest of your workday. And take good care. Wheat. You probably grow wheat. But I could just grow sunflowers. But also grow more carrots or more potatoes. Let's grow sunflowers. Whoops! I just overwrote some of my trees. What kind of trees are those? Birch trees? Yeah. Sure are. Yep, I can't I can't be mean to chat. Like some streamers have I did see that I put a plant in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Some streamers have a uh, funny relationship with chat. Like, they. Oops, I forgot to build the. Bam. I should probably build it down here. Doop, 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 doop. Is it, yes, they are able to, like, sort of rag on chat, and it's. Kind of a back and forth. And everybody knows it's just in jest. It's in jest. But yeah, I I can't. I can't do it. I just feel bad. Like I'm I'm being rude. I need to put my sound effect back on my GoXLR so I can do the um dum thing. Trying to make a path. Okay, I don't need to delete this one. I 
What if I cancel deleting it? I feel like the cancel button should cancel everything. Rim shot, yeah, that. That's what that is, the rim shot sound. Okie dokie. There's no way this gets built. Absolutely no way. But luckily for us, this first drought cycle should be pretty short. I have five houses, 50, we can support 15 beavers. Did somebody die? No. I only have 14 beavers. A water tank. Yeah, we don't, we do not have gears. So, I mean, I could build another small water tank and rush that. Make it the most urgent of priorities. That's, I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. I've only got one builder right now. <laughs> I've only got one. Everything's planted, so let's take the beavers out of the farmhouse for now. And we can put somebody back in the inventor for the time being. I mean, maybe, just maybe, we'll get some water in there. We have six. I'm going to have them work all night long. Turn in that log. Turn in all night long. They are hungry again. I think this might be a rip. <laughs> this this might be a rip. Oh no, wait, we have grilled potatoes. They're they're just faking me out because I'm making them work 24-7. Well, this is it. That's all they got done. In that small amount of time, just one piece of a dam. <gasps> oh! Hi Anahan Shard! Yes, you're right, it is right over top of it. Oopsies. I'm also in the wrong spot too. I didn't adjust anything. How oh, terrible. It's only 1.8 days, so my crops should not all die. Just the potatoes. The carrots and the sunflowers should persist through the drought. And so should my trees. Hashtag professional streamer. Yep, that's me. Thank you for letting me know in a hand chart. I appreciate it. Plant the farm where the side area with the water is. You put it. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Very smart. Didn't even notice. Well, we know what JSOG is doing or not doing. Hey, at least they're building the dam now. Yep, this is a good idea. There it is. I'm gonna put one there too. Thanks back into the lurker ooze. Thank you for coming out of the lurker ooze. So let me know 
I meant to check before I started, and then I did check on the title screen, and was like, everything looks good, and then just jumped into the game. Sorry. Did you just pass up from exhaustion? I put you back on a 16-hour workday. I don't know what to tell you. Bum, 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 bum. You think the extra water tank saved me? Probably. He's the tech mod. <laughs> oh, you blame Alistair. Alistair's the tech mod. Dang it, Alistair. It's so brown and dreary. Isn't it? Oh, my potatoes are dying. They're dying. Eh, it's fine. I'm just gonna keep the farmhouse paused for now. <laughs> I wanted to turn this potato plant into a carrot anyway, so that's just gonna give me an excuse to make you a carrot. And I kind of just want to keep the sunflower in the river, just because I can. Hi, Drolly! Hello, hello! Boop! <laughs> Alistair's gonna rewrite the bonk command if you keep teasing him. It's a river flower. Right! A river flower. Welcome back, Omarine. <laughs> yeah, the pota the pot potatoes. The potatoes died. They shriveled up. And died. And you're right, we totally would have run out of water. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough logs. At 20... F yeah, no. Lumberjack flag. Did I forget to give you a cutting zone? Chop chop! And I deleted the lumberjack flag from over here too, like a silly head. Trees. So let's see. Unmark that. Unmark that. These go in the tree cutting area. And all of these I want for um chestnuts and maple syrup. So I don't want to mark them as cuttable. To be chopped. They are to be retained, so eh. We have 15 beavers now. The drought ended. Woohoo! We made it! Beavers eat two food and two water a day. That is good to know. I'm out of water. So good thing the water's coming back. Now... A show to never forget. The amazing Jess. In today's show, Jess has changed a potato into a carrot. Dramatic music. Da, da, da. <gasps> My carrots died. Oh. Only the sunflowers survived. everybody else. Oh, somebody died. No, apparently not. I could have sworn I had 15 beavers. Hm. 
Okay, well this is fine. We'll have our... Our, um, our things back in no time. And our beaver will eventually finish planting trees. Just planted a line of pines. A line of pines. So, this flag does not reach all the way up here. I'm going to just build another one. There's no stairs, though. I guess I can make stairs. Boop. Um, I need to put down a cutting tree marker. Boop. We'll chop all of those. Hi, Goonie Forever. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try. <laughs> I try to have a nice voice. So, it turns out we're out of logs and we're also out of trees to cut. <laughs> there is still one log here. Now there's three. Boop. You love the boop sound? I... I know. I have a super deeply lovely voice, even when evil. <laughs> oh, there's trees right here. What am I talking about? We are chopping those too, right? Okay, I'm actually really excited for the Cuphead DLC because it's all gonna be fresh for everyone. And so I get to play Cuphead when the world is experiencing Cuphead for the first time. And nobody's gonna have a strategy for beating the bosses yet. I mean, maybe some people will have a strategy, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yep, okay, so... We got that piece of dam built, and that was what was most important to me, so I'm going to make another house. By the time we beat the first boss, you fully expect... ...and we'll have beaten the game. I mean, yeah, you're probably right. Hmm, that's right. I, you know what, Fentil? I forgot that they can just cross the water. I forgot this is a thing that you can do. Some people are insanely good at games. Well, at least, like, Cuphead style games, right? That is not me. <laughs> Even more rude. <laughs> I don't think it's rude. Well, I mean, I guess Alistair is saying that I'm quite bad at, at Cuphead. I suppose that is what you're saying after all. But I, I'm not offended. Because I acknowledge that I am not very good. I am much better than I used to be. But I would still call myself a complete novice. Needing the path to swim feels weird? Yeah, it kind of is. Somebody has died of old age. I just read the message that you deleted. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, 
I think it was good to clear that one just because of the language, Ooh. but it was... It, <laughs> it still made me smile. You can, you can just say... Turd, maybe. Oh dear, you boop my snoot. You turd. I'm gonna boop your nose so hard, it will be so cute. People seeing it would faint out of cuteness overload. Bum, 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 bum. Do one over here. I see a lot of beavers just meandering about. I think they're actually hanging out. Boop. All right, so cutting trees. Yep, those are all marked. Ute erd. Are we suddenly in Australia? You turd. A baby beaver equals a kit. Baby beaver. A baby beaver is so much fun to say. It's funny, I have so many planks, but I just have no logs. How is Babby formed? Um, if... That is a good question. If you have spare room in your housing, as in you have a smaller population than what your housing can accommodate, then... Then... Babby Beaver is just formed. Poof! At least for the folktales. As legend would have it, if there was room in your house, poof! Babby Beaver. The greatest folktale of them all. Baby Puffin equals a puffling. Oh, A puffling. Yes, build smaller houses. That's how you control the population. But that's not that's not true for the Iron Teeth faction. Which is why I did not want to try the Iron Teeth this run. Because I would actually like to unlock golems. I would like to do that. Okay. I'm deleting that flag now. Just moving them around. So this is almost completed. My massive dam. Time to acquire pizza. Pizza acquisition. When one beaver looks at the other, and the magic stars align, the baby beaver falls in the hand of the parent beavers. That's exactly how it happens. <laughs> so they're just really slow. I think I'm gonna pause the lumber mill for the time being. And also the power wheel by proxy. And make us a another lumberjack flag up here and put some beavers to work chopping trees because i'm impatient i'm gonna pause this one too there this should go faster puffin's colorful beak Falls off after mating season. That makes sense. That makes sense. Is it like is it the the male that has the colorful beak? Nerkless, have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Please enjoy your vacation. Enjoy your lunch. It's totally worth it. Be well. 
Thank you, Nerglis. Thank you, thank you. I am on vacation in two weeks. Which is June 27th to June 30th. There will be no streams. How long does it take a beaver to dig out a tile? So they don't dig out the tiles, you have to blow them up with dynamite? That's what you mean? He posted your food in Discord. I could see why you said you wanted to share. That's a lot of food. Potato wedges are breaded like the chicken. It looks very tasty. If you like chicken and potatoes, don't look. Or is that all the more reason to actually look? Ah! What do you mean there's no one to work it? Somebody died of old age. Hmm. I think I do need both farmers. I paused. Where are all my beavers working at? What are they all doing? District center, farmhouse, the forester, the gatherer flag. Oh yeah, the grill. Inventor. The lumber mill. Lumberjack flag. Two lumberjack flags are empty. I guess I'm gonna take one beaver out of the district center. In hopes that they will go and employ themselves at a lumberjack flag. Lumber mill. I mean, they should. Oh, I'm paused. Yay! Okay. More logs, please. Roast. The fried chicken place near you roasts their chicken. A cooking method in which food is deep fried under pressure. The method is fast and absorbs less fat. Huh. Is the taste significantly different? Kays, Kaysy, Kaysy, Kays. Workplace priorities. Oh, I didn't realize you could do this. <laughs> I did not realize. So you can have them like bounce between them. Good call. Yeah, we could rush the house. It's the best fried chicken you've ever eaten, but it has <laughs> not had a lot of competition. I haven't really had much fried chicken either. I don't... I'm not crazy about it. It's not that I don't think it's good. It's just that... I don't know, like, I... I It's hard, it's hard to explain, it's just like, it, it's good. I just don't want to eat it. Maybe it's because it's so messy or something, I, I don't know. Okay, they have food, they have water. I am going to just zoom out like this and swoop myself away and go make some more coffee. Let me move the sub goal again, too. I realize it's also in the wrong spot. Dang it, Jess. Put, put your overlays in the right spot, dang it.
Don't collect the berries till we need them, maybe? <laughs> Hi, Vandalier. Nice to see you. Yeah, no, see, I, I wasn't... I wasn't sure if the coffee was good. What's monk fruit? It is a... I want to... I was like, it's a type of fruit, but I'm, I'm not 100% positive. Here's the Wikipedia page for monk fruit. Wikipedia. What was that sound? Oh, that was the well being going up. There you go. It is a fruit. It is a fruit, but like if you scroll down to the sweetening agent section, it can be used as a sugar replacement. And so I have these like drops that are it's basically like liquid monk fruit extract. <laughs> and so you can like put it into your coffee, a couple drops, and it will sweeten it. Hey Lemon Ducky, nice to see you. Um, yes. Campfire. A place for beepers to relax and socialize in the evening. It increases the chance of getting baby beavers. And decreases the time a baby beaver takes to become an adult. This I did not know. But here we go. It's native to southern China. Yeah, today I learned. I didn't. I did not know that monk fruit came from from southern China. But yeah, it's a fairly popular sugar replacement. A lot of people like it better than say stevia because it doesn't have as weird of an aftertaste. I was experimental so far. Um, I haven't gotten to the experimental part yet. <laughs> I haven't quite gotten there. I think that this this beaver village is moving on a little bit faster than the last one. It's like I kind of learned some stuff about how to make my gameplay a little bit better from the last. Colony. And I also figured out, like, how to set things up, which is really big. Right? I fall in the stick. My day is going amazingly. How's yours? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Question. If a person has ADHD, then they do not need coffee, do they? Um, well... I mean, I suppose not. I, I suppose nobody needs caffeine. <laughs> it just kind of happens to be very addictive. And once you start relying on it, it's hard to break the dependency. As far as its effects on ADHD, caffeine is a stimulant, which actually does have more of a calming or focusing effect or like a honing effect for some people because I know you would think like stimulant you'd expect maybe to be stimulated but what stimulants do is stimulate the production of um, things like dopamine in your brain and ADHD brains 
have a lack of this, and so that's what leads to the high distractibility. Not, like, fully. This is, like, a super TLDR, right? But the lack of dopamine and other things like norepinephrine innately in your brain makes it so you become highly distractible due to needing to get stimulation from your environment. Like, dopamine is the... is the neurotransmitter that, like, makes things rewarding, makes things fun, makes things worthwhile, makes you happy, and so if you have a lack of that, then, like, anything you try to do is just, like, torture. <laughs> Maybe not torture. Maybe not torture. Unless you really like it, and that's when you would get the, the hyper-focus effect. And so, like, sometimes you'll hear hyper-focus is an ADHD superpower. But it only... You only really hyper-focus on things that you find, like, really, really compelling and interesting. So... I mean, I started drinking caffeine because it did help me with focusing in college. I, I had coffee for the first time and was like, whoa! I can, like, focus on this paper I need to write. <laughs> but now I actually take a stimulant medication. As prescribed by my doctor. And... It's very helpful. I still drink coffee because I am... Dependent on caffeine because I've been drinking it... Like, every day for... A decade or more, <laughs> right? <sighs> That's why I have decaf coffee. I'm just trying to get to a point where I can cut caffeine out. Well, that's what I mean, Lemon Ducky. Like... You can argue that nobody actually needs caffeine. But it is really addictive. And once you... once you become dependent on it, like, you kind of do need it. Oh, Jsog. Yeah. That would have been helpful to know. But also... <laughs> that, was, that was very irresponsible of your friends. <laughs> if you click on a beaver, it tells you what food... It, uh, yeah, I did see that. I, I, I saw that, I just don't ever look. Yeah, a campfire, fertility plus 25%. I don't ever look. Hi, hybrid germ. Buffy's life. I know. That's why I have decaf. Because at this point, I have... I'm, I'm very conditioned. Hey, my dam is built. At this point, I've become very conditioned... ...to... ...want to consume coffee... ...as... Are these chestnut trees? They are chestnut trees. Isn't that nifty? It's almost like I should plant some more chestnut trees over here. To complement the, the group of chestnut trees I have. You don't like the taste. You like the smell. Ice and Vision. You're that way about cola and m &Ms. Which way in particular? I forgot what I've said already. Pepsi ma Max. Pepsi Pepsi Mass. Max. Gosh, I can't say this. Pe pep. 
<laughs> Pepsi Max. I don't know that I've ever had Pepsi Max. Oh, this way. Oh, I delete it. So begins me trying to find everything in the menu and endlessly being confused. <laughs> Plant trees. What did I just put here? Maples? And what if I just made this whole section? Uh, I don't know. Let's just make maple trees. Maple trees! Pine trees. through like that and one slight problem is that I need a place for the forester to go <laughs> I probably should leave a, a place for a path like this that way they can get around Alistair has pizza. Oh yeah, the Canadian chocolate bar, coffee crisp. Yeah, JSOG was telling me about that. Apparently I need to try it. I've never had it before. I could put the forester right there. Okay, then I will. It was just a two by two, yeah. And then I also need to place a... Did that have full access to this area? Yes, yeah, it does. I was confused by the little cliff right here. And then where should I put my lumberjack flag? Also, I need a spot to store logs. <laughs> Whoops. I'm getting carried away. Let's put it there. It deleted my plan. And then my lumberjack flag. Put it right there. I didn't realize it would get rid of these plans. Alright. You relied on cola and chocolate to keep you going daily. Ah. Uh. You even practice your socializing, socializing skills. Hi, it's a Dan. Hello. There are lots of maples in the pit. Pit maples. Okay, fine. I will put two lumberjack flags. So I have... I've never tried a coffee crisp bar. In fact, I hadn't heard of it until the other day. The thing, the thing with coffee for me is that I've become really conditioned to just want coffee, like, even if I don't need it. Like, I wake up in the mornings and I'm just like, I want coffee. And then I make coffee and I'm just so conditioned, it's like, happy. <laughs> Des happy. And so, like, when I, when I don't have it, it, like... I don't know, it's weird. I just want to I just want to enjoy the coffee, all right? So that's why I started trying to make decaf cold brew with the intention of hopefully reducing my overall caffeine consumption while still being able to get the cup of coffee. No worries. 
No worries. Your significant other was there. You spent all your time with her. Um, as you should have. I have one unemployed Biba. So we have a lot of things that can be unlocked because I have all the science points. Yeah, don't you dare apologize for spending time with important people in your life. Exactly. The mods said it best. Large water tank. I want to make gears. Gears, 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 gears. Keeper. 180 science points. What about power? Get the high power shaft. Ah, windmills! It's 120 science. Okay, well... I would like to start thinking about a way to make power. I wonder if I can build a dam over here. In fact, I know I can. <laughs> That's a good spot to do so. It's already got the walls built up for me. You've been trying to cut off coffee and energy drinks since you've become so reliant on them. You did before, but you got back to drinking them. Yeah. I know, I actually... I did a coffee cleanse in like 2019. And managed to cut myself off almost entirely. All I was all I was drinking was tea, and then I started again. And now it's even harder this time because I remember the struggle. <laughs> I remember the struggle. You have to get moving too. Must brave the heat to socialize. Good luck, and vision. Thanks for stopping in. You can do it! You can do it. Ultimately, I think I would like to do that. As in, like... Have a caffeinated version and a decaf version to mix together. The problem is... That... They have different flavor profiles. So I need to find a coffee that I like, that comes in both the decaf and the non-decaf version. That way I can mix them together and not have it taste super funky. The aquatic farm is nice too. Yeah, I want to try that this time. Oh no, Fallen Mystic! Compounds in tea really mess with the kidney stones. I guess they do, don't they? Can you post a link? Um, one of the mods will need to permit you. Coffee is a joy and a pleasure. It regulates insulin and most of the adverse health effects can be traced back to the sugar and cream people add. You're not quitting until coffee goes extinct, or you do. <laughs> oh, goodness. I... I mostly want to stop... ...because I don't want to be so dependent on caffeine. That's, that's really it. Like, if I don't have caffeine in the morning, my day is awful. Just absolutely awful. That's no fun. But it... This link, when I hover over it, is so long. Ryo brew? Oh, cacao.
Brews like coffee. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I will check that out, actually. The energy drinks make you too hyper. Yeah, but if you replace coffee with tea, like, first off, they have different types of caffeine. Or so I learned, like, one, I, I want to say that, like, coffee's caffeine is absorbed into your blood? And tea's absorbed in the stomach? No, that's not right. Or is it? Well, I don't know, it was something that Andy told me, like, way back in the day. I think it was Andy. <laughs> and... Like, the way that they're absorbed in the body is different. But then also, like, tea contains so much less caffeine. Because... At least the kind of coffee that I drink has a really high caffeine level. Like... 150... 200 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Right? And, but tea has, like, maybe... If you're drinking black tea, like, 80. If you're drinking green tea, like, 40-ish. It's just, like, a huge difference. And so that's just where your baseline threshold would be. So, like... You, you could still... Enjoy caffeine, but, like, if you... You don't need it, necessarily. You have you have four four times the delay here, even on low latency. Hmm. Hey Narkly, that's what you use too. Dependency is not an addiction. Um I actually think that <laughs> to be addicted is to become dependent. <laughs> He is absorbed in the soul. <laughs> hey, Jovial. Have I considered coffee with a lower caffeine level? Um, yes. Doesn't taste as good. I really like um, light brew coffees. Nothing to do in range. Oh, wait a second. I don't actually need two foresters here. I thought I did. Lumberjacks, I mean. Put that one on low priority. I don't know what's been up with the delay, but I've had a lot of people tell me that they were having issues with delay, and I don't know why. You're dependent. Okay, now I'm looking it up. Dependency... Versus addiction. Okay, no, you're right. The presence of dependency does not... Necessarily indicate addiction. Often they're used interchangeably. Dependency refers to the physical dependence, often characterized by the symptoms of tolerance and withdrawal. While it's possible to have a dependence without being addicted, addiction is usually right around the corner. Addiction is marked with a change in behavior caused by biochemical changes in the brain after continued substance abuse. Substance use will become the main priority of the addict, regardless of the harm they may cause to themselves or others. And it leads to... rational acts. 
according to the addiction center. <laughs> Do not become addicted to water. Speaking of, I haven't had any water. Caffeine has no any antimers. There's a single type of caffeine for tea, coffee, cacao. Mm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I want to make sure that these are not desired and also not desired. So they'll stop putting them together. You can pay to make me t take a bite of the face. Oh, for the, the Project Hope. Yeah, I've ar we've already reached the goal, actually. I should probably change the message. On the flip side, though, you can actually pay to see previous eyes to the face because if you if you cheer over a hundred bits, there's like eye gifts. Yeah, but we we already reached that goal. We hit four twenty because. Of course, chat wants to see me get pied. <laughs> oh, pie there. Uh, oh, pie there. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits, Mr. Jerker Boy. <laughs> Is the pie for the, the next... Backers pick day. I don't know. I am thinking that... I'm thinking that I will probably... Do that bef at least before the vacation. Alright, so now it's time to start thinking about... Engineering... something. Now we need to engineer. We have food, we got plenty of food. And I keep forgetting that they can walk in the water. But I want them to come through this way. I need to see how far this district center will reach. I'm hoping that it can reach to at least right here. That way I can build a, a first dam. Also, we're currently in the middle of a drought. <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Droka Boy. Soon, TM. I'll do it once the crisis has ended. Oh no, I'm not gonna... <laughs> That's a- that's a very frustrating answer. But I- I intend on doing it before... Before I- I leave for vacation. <gasps> oh! I was supposed to do a Draws Badly today. Just remembered. I was supposed to draw myself... Top of Kingdom. I'll have to do it tomorrow! Ooh, it just might reach. Exciting! Now, what would be the best way to do this? I'm thinking the cheapest way would be to build it right here. Since we've already got two blocks worth of height. 
I think anyway. I did just say it has two blocks worth of height. And so, what I'm thinking basically is that. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. One, two, three. Triple floodgate. We want a triple floodgate. I do want to build a levy thing right there, though. It'd be a subtle way of doing the influencer thing to influence towards a faster resolution on my scale. On what scale, though? A noop? Noop moment. <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously, like, that, that would have been bad. I would have just been a waste of resources. That's why I said nope, 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 nope. We could also start building a power wheel. However, I want to build the power wheel here. Or here. Hereabouts. Somewhere in there. This is too far. Is it because they cannot build three tiles up? Can they build two tiles up? I don't know. I could try a set of stairs like this. I feel like they can reach that. Nope, 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 nope. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I really want to unlock golems. Let's go on 3x. I don't think we'll get there, though. Not without more power. Okay, so I need to delete all of these. All of these bushes. They're in the way. Make pies, not war. Yeah. Yeah, make pies, not war. As a random question, did I get a chance to watch any of the game shows over the past week or so. Yes. Yeah, I, I've i been doing my best to keep up with them. In fact, today I'm actually going to be co-streaming slash restreaming the Gorilla Collective Showcase. So that is in like an hour and 15 minutes. I've never done something like that before. So I'm kind of nervous. Kinda, sort of, nervous. Okay, so I kind of marked a lot of stuff for destruction by beavers but i want to build a gear workshop i actually want to build another lumber mill looks like we can do one power wheel per lumber mill the problem is that it is just there's not enough beavers to run to run all of that. So I just need to make real power. We need to unlock a windmill, that's the word. We need to unlock a windmill. 
This is going to give us six more inhabitants if I build it here. Wait, it's way up there. I would require a triple platform or a double platform or stacking two singles on top of each other. I think I can do that. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. The water's back. Woohoo! You'll go unlock some dinner. Enjoy, Philandial. I guess I could just continue to build a whole line of houses. It costs 150 science points. Okay, fine. Nope, but don't unlock that, because I want to... Basically, set this up like this. You know, I completely changed my mind about how I was going to lay this place out, if you've noticed. Yes, die. Perish the thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind I'm kind of sort of nervous for it, just because I've never, like, restreamed slash co-streamed an event before, and I don't really know what to expect. Which has me very nervous. Unconnected building lacks power? No, unconnected building, building lacks power. Two wrongs don't make a right, but what do two rights make? The first airplane. <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right, but two rights make the first airplane. <laughs> Thanks, little god. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Well, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be fine. I've just... I don't know. I've never restreamed something before, and I don't... I don't know what to expect. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Where should I put my manufacturing district? This seems like a good spot. Could build a bunch of windmills up here. I am something of a video game enjoyer. I missed that part, yeah. Something of a video game enjoyer. Alright, that's all connected. So now we're just waiting on 500 science points. Ever so slowly. Be myself, talk to what I know and like, and let that smile in my voice shine through. <laughs> okay. I'll try. I don't know, like I... There's gonna be trailers and stuff, right? So should I just, like, turn my camera off? Probably. I don't know. A local chiropodist was arrested for stealing all the broken bits of nail after foot treatment. Apparently they were a kleptomaniac. <laughs> what is a chiropodist? Chi chiropodist. Cliptomaniac. Oh, gross. Gross. That's gross. <laughs> but thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> you want to see the whole screen and me being an added or a disembodied voice is added comfort. Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing all this stuff for the first time, too. Well, I'm just kind of going to go with it see, and see what happens.
Maybe I should go for the windmill first. I'm gonna get the windmill first. I'm gonna put the windmill up here too. Can I just build them all on the edge like this? Twenty planks? They cost twenty planks? At least they don't cost gears, right? <laughs> that would be terrible. Yeah, so... I don't know, maybe if I had more experience doing it, I'd be willing to do it as a watch with the stream. But... Never done it before. Like, I just... I don't really know how to present it. And I am, like, 100% overthinking it. <laughs> Almost definitely. So I have a single windmill. But this is fine. This is totally fine. So the warehouses will not accept logs, right? They accept everything but... Yeah. They will accept planks, though. So... let's see. Storage. A large warehouse costs 80 planks! Totally bonkers. So if we were gonna set up, like... A little power situation here... You probably want something like this. The high power shaft is very costly. So for the time being, I think what I'll do is maybe... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, never mind. It's so much harder to delete the path than it is to draw the path. I think I actually want like three lumber mills. Yeah, okay. So... Uh, it's hard to decide... Let's go this in this direction. I don't think that works. No. That, that was the gear workshop, right? That I just put down? Yes. So then I need the plank workshop. And by plank workshop, that was perfect. I actually mean lumber mill. One of these produces like 118 horsepower. This requires 50, 50, 50, 120. Let's pause two of them. And I also need to make another little pathway thingy to get, whoops, right here. Since that building kind of closes it off. Right there in the corner. Or I could build a double platform and save... Resources. There we go. Why did the beaver burglar get busted? Police found damning evidence of the crime scene. Oh, goodness. Alistair. <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the support.
You just keep on being silly. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits. You're sure Cody would have wanted you to do that. I'm sure. I think you're absolutely right. These are almost done. Growing chestnuts. Almost. There are chestnuts over here. Oh, but I've just realized. Oh, I need a gatherer's flag, but I put a little pine tree here. Hmm. Hmm. Did I put a warehouse down here? Not leave any room for a warehouse. Let's just delete that tree. Hey, Gunburgon! We've graduated to the highest speed. I was using the highest speed on the last colony. But yes, I... I want to m go more faster, so I am... Sorry, lost my train of thought. I want to go more faster, so I am... I'm on 3x speed. There's not much time left. This is the last colony. Well, that implies that I'm never playing Timberborn again. The last one that we played, that wasn't this one. We were on 3x speed. I forgot to set a path right here. Here we go. You'd like to lodge a complaint about that joke. <laughs> Would you now? You just pulled three interpretations out of a four-letter word. Yep. It's lots of fun. <laughs> Alright, so we should have... Should have extra beavers. Soon! I already do have one extra beaver. And I'll shortly have two more, because I will... Delete both of these things. And put them to work over here instead. They're not quite built. I can all be reached. We're just waiting. It's a long way to go, you know. And so where am I gonna put my little log storage? I guess I could put it... Right about there. Move it back one? A small warehouse? I don't know, I'm trying not to build everything so, like, squished. You know what I mean? Building needs power. Yes. About that. <laughs> So you're playing a new CK3 game. One of your grandchildren was born sterile. It's a congenital trait. But it's 50% reduced fertility. They're Herculean and also sterile? That is kind of weird. No, no, no. 364 science points. Construction lacks materials. Yeah, I know. Ah! Check it out! 
It's working now. It is working now. So I think we might need to get a hauler's post soon. The wind stopped blowing. Darn wind! Still just 15 logs, so I'm just- I'm trying to be patient. I have the logs, but I need to build the other stuff first. Give them some more campfires. Check it out. Check it out. We're making. <gasps> Who died of old age? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's fine. There we go. Delete the super expensive power wheel. Delete. The slumber mill. We'll work over here instead. Yay! Industrial area! That's not collect connected to the main... Pl <sighs> the wind stops blowing every time. Yeah, it is- it is bad logic. It's- it is a misnomer. Right? It's odd. Wife is out of town. Anyone have a good horror movie recommendation? Nope. I absolutely do not. I really hope I can get this... ...built before... ...the... Next drought. I really hope I can get this built before I have to go do the other thing. I just want to play Timberborn all day! So, you know how we were, we were having that ADHD discussion earlier? And hyperfocus. Talking, I, I sort of brought up hyperfocus. Um, video games tend to be a medium that um, a lot of ADHDers can hyperfocus on. Which is why streaming ends up being like a pretty, pretty decent job. Point of that was to say that I start playing. And I just... I get so into it. I don't want to do anything else. It is, like... So... Frustrating to try and, and, like, switch games sometimes. Even if I want to. It's like, how, how do you just... Break... Break the hyperfocus. The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. I recently learned that's supposed to be Texas. Or like, West Texas. Alright, let's build this up now. Ugh. So yeah, I, I have a very difficult time sometimes just like pulling myself away from a game. Like, especially for something like this, like... I'm gonna be honest and say I don't remember signing up for it. But, so, since I was accepted into it, like, I don't, I don't want to be unprofessional and, like... I guess I should make potatoes here, actually. I don't want to be unprofessional and just ghost it, like, after being accepted. But I will be honest and say, I do not remember signing up. Um... <laughs> and it's like, dang it, I just want to play Timberborn! Have your showcase tomorrow! Oh, 
we have chestnuts now, right? Are these chestnuts? Those are potatoes. What are these? Sunflowers? Oh no, we do have chestnuts. Where are... Oh, they're right here. So I wanted to make an another grill, actually, in the spot that I just planted stuff in. <laughs> Oops. That's okay, I'll put it on top of the warehouse. Because then I can get rid of this weird path that I built. Whoops. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, don't forget, it's a path. You're still unclear about what exactly I signed up for. I signed up to... Um... Co-stream, which is also known as restreaming. The Guerrilla Collective 3.5 Showcase. So, basically, they reached out to a bunch of content creators and requested that they... In one way or another, help them with promotion. So, like, depending on what your forte is, because not every every content creator is a streamer. They just wanted people to help get eyes on the showcase. That way, the indie developers have like more potential. Players and like testers, players and people to buy their games. So like, the games being showcased today are indie games. And so I'm just restreaming it. Like I'm just gonna take their stream and stream their stream on my stream. <laughs> the drought has started. I didn't make my floodgates. Grrr. Oh no. As an old guy, life is too short not to do what I want to do. I know, but so you say that. I... have enough science points now. Yay! Triple floodgate. This thing is 30 logs. I guess I should pause some of them. Let's start with these over here. Just these two. I don't have enough trees yet. I guess I should go pick up these maple trees that are down here. So there's actually a reason why I don't play these games anymore off stream and that is because I have so much work to do. I have so much work to do like all the time that if I were to actually let myself play games off stream like I would never get anything done. And that is one of the downsides of streaming. It is it, it is not all just playing games. It's a lot of stuff on the side. Like a lot. I have two more unemployed beavers. Which is also why I think a lot of content creators find themselves in content creation. Because you have to wear so many different hats in order to... I mean, I guess you don't have to. Like everyone, you can do things differently. Not everyone's processes are the same. But... Like, becoming a full-time streamer was a huge lesson in, like, trying to run a business. And I also had to learn so many skills. Like, I had to learn how to... set up OBS and get a hardware system going, or hardware, an audio system going to sound good, and lighting. And then on top of that, things like video editing and, um... Like, photo editing. And then also administrative stuff, and... There's just so much to do that, like, things don't get boring very often. 
except at any laws. <sighs> you can play for a long time, but every day you start over to a new save or switch a game, you can't keep the one game and finish it. Well, I mean, if you, if you have fun doing that, then I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I know what you mean. It's really easy, kind of, to... ...lose interest in things. The one in front of the stairs will block them from what? From... The one in front of the stairs will block them from building the other. Oh. No, they can't... Can, can they, they'll be able to reach it from down here? Well, it's fine. Let's just have them build this. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. A hauling post, thank you. I was gonna make a hauling post. And then I forgot. Classic. Where do I want to put my hauling post? Well, I did kind of build this so I could wrap around like that. I guess I could install it here, although I'm pretty sure I can grow trees there. Plant trees, plant trees, these are chestnut trees. Why would the beavers need a howling post? Just wear bears. <laughs> wear bears. But would wouldn't that still just be a werewolf? Wouldn't wouldn't it still just be a werewolf? Okay. So I ended up making the path like that. So what if I built the hauling post, the builder's hut? Hauling post, like right here. Or right there. Let's do it here. Because it fits really nicely. No recipes selected. Yes, this was for grilled chestnuts. Odd how they need a path to swim. It's weird. Oh, look, they can reach it from there. And indeed. Drought has ended. Oh, good. I hope you all enjoy... ...building in the water. Because <laughs> that's what's happening. It wouldn't be a werewolf, as were is apparently... Well, apparently comes from the ol Old English for man. Okay, man-wolf, so you need to find an Old English word for beaver? A beaver-wolf? I got no wow. idea. Wow! Hi, Nice Cocoon! How come it's the work day? Ooh. And... Now there's no... <sighs> now the wind blows. Now it blows. It has the audacity... ...to wait... ...until it is time to relax and sleep and socialize. Start blowing. I'm gonna have words with you. Dun dun dum dum dum. Water dump. I want a large water tank. It takes 20 years, but we have 34 now. And I think I'm gonna put this like closer to town, maybe? I don't know.
What if we put it... I don't know... Like what? About there! Still haven't figured out my optimal locations yet. We have hit wellness 9. I think because they finally have grilled chestnuts. Beaver comes from beef, beefer in Old English, so it would just be a beefer wolf. Beefer, beefer wolf. Beowulf. See, look! The wind isn't blowing. It is the work day. And the wind is not blowing. <laughs> and then as soon as they go home for the night, the wind is gonna start blowing again. I wonder if this is how this... This is intentional. I'm watching you, windmills. I'm watching you. Like, do you, do you think that that's intentional? As in, the foothills here get windy at night? And during the day, they're, they stagnate? Here's equal components. I suppose you could think of them like components. They're needed for certain buildings, like this water tank. And speaking of water tanks, I removed this path so that I could build another water tank or another water pump. And then... Actually build it. In fact, we're probably gonna want three. But I'm only gonna focus on one for now. Make this super high priority. And then make this high priority. to become night critters. No, no, the wind is blowing during the day. I think it might have just been a coincidence. It may have just been a coincidence. They are sleeping again. I don't have enough planks. The thing is, I have plenty of planks, actually. They're just kind of troublesome to get to. Okay, so now we have two beavers working water pumps. So, realistically, we have double the water now. I did not scale our water production for our... Our beaver village, but look, we are starting to have a surplus. Once again. I was really hoping that this area here could run without water. Like water power, but it's... The wind stops all the time. And then everything is out of commission. That's cool. It's perfect, look at it. There goes my water. What's weird about this? Whoa. Do you, do you see this? It works as intended. But what's really funny is that there's just a frame of a floodgate here and the water is moving over top of it as if there was actually a floodgate there. It 
should be... Here we go. It should not just be staying at this level. It should be going like... Phew. It's a feature? I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. However, I can take advantage of that. I can take advantage of that, like, right now. Do the water movement sound again? I don't know what sound I made in the first place, Omarid. <laughs> I'm not sure. Because, look, we could uh, make some water wheels. Oops. Water wheels just need to be built on... Would it be better to put them this way or this way? What if I put them... Like, down here? I guess it would kind of have to be like this. Hi, Rodri! Hello there! Welcome in! Two... Three... Or... But like that. I can't actually... That's a hard decision! What if I did two? Feature... Expl exploitation. But but Chaza, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm. That's bad. Don't substitute dinner with soda. Ah. Ah. Can't see my path. I know you're down here. Okay. Doki, doki. Hmm, what if we put... What if we just put a water mill in? So these things will continue to work throughout the day. Because when they work, they work. Just when the wind stops, we're not, we're not producing anything. We have a hauler's post too. Woohoo! Stacking rocks? Software isn't working with you, but against you. I don't know what focus stacking is. We can do this. I, I think we can do this. If I were to build six twelve, if we were to build this through here, like this, is this thing? It's three wide, right? Yeah, it is it's three. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine, just start it off. Somebody put a path in the way. Who put this here? And why? <laughs> okay, 
So, let me try again. Because we could do... This. This is exactly how we did it on the last one. And this worked pretty darn well for making power. If I do say so myself. So we could pause these. Pause, 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 pause. And use that to build around it. So, all of these, pause them as well. I know that we can build... Single height levees all beside them. Ah, my alarm is going off! And then we have to build... Two high levees in this spot right here. The only issue... Single height might work. A single height might work. Also, these aren't required. If anything... Um, these ones are the one that's required. This just to push the water flow... Like, is this gonna work? They're in the bathrooms. They're looking to buy a house. How to politely tell the realtor that you want one which says, I hate the proximity of fellow man. Um, just live out in the woods. The alarm was going off for something important. Yes, the alarm was telling me that it is time to take a break, take my medication, and start setting up for the showcase. But I want to play... B I didn't even get to play with golems today. I guess we're gonna have to play more of this this week. We're really not far now. We're, we're not very far at all. Once we get this going, I think what I'm going to do is basically run power along this edge here. And kind of add it to this area. We need to start scavenging for metal, which is pretty easy to do. I even think this might be within range. Like over here, it's probably within range. And then we need to make smelters, and from there we can we can just start making things. We can make biofuel, it's gonna be easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. We gotta set up the aquatic farm too. Talking about which, which. Need to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow? Yeah, go to bed. 